Hey y'all, Big Tim here. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Old School Bass of Big Tim. So today I've got a little tip for you that I actually blew the minds of some of my friends with. They came in the store the other day and were complaining about using tube and how it kept sliding down the hook. I said, man, I have got a really easy, simple solution for you. So, here we go. I didn't bring the whole rod in, but what I did, I brought the reel in and got some fishing line on it, okay? So this is gonna represent our rod, and this is gonna be the line. You thread your sinker of choice on the line, whichever it is. This is for Texas rig tube, by the way. So you can put a bobber stopper in front of it if you'd like, or whatever else, if you want it to be free floating sinker, however you wanna do it. This is the biggest, most important part. The next thing you get is a swivel. There, it's in focus better. Just an old fashioned barrel swivel. And I, I generally have different sizes in there because I love the Carolina rig, so I have different sizes of swivels in there. But this for this, this is a bigger tube, so we're gonna use a bigger swivel. You may adjust the size of the swivel depending on the bait that you're gonna use. And you know, I said at the beginning of this video that this is for tubes. No, it's really for any plastic. If you don't want it to slide down the hook on you, whether it's Senkos, whether it's brush hogs, whether it's beavers, really doesn't matter. Any soft plastic. But the key to it is, we've already got our sinker on. You see that? Put a red sinker on. Hopefully you can see it better. Then we just take the swivel and run our line through the swivel. So now, what is happening, both are just sliding back and forth. Looks kind of odd, doesn't it? But, then we tie our hook on. However, whatever knot you use, most of the time I use a paddle bar knot. And that's what we're going with today. Problem is, I don't have my glasses, so I can't see anything. So, this is our power bar knot. I did a really bad job of it. Most of the time you take your clippers and take your tag end off, but I still got good teeth. So now, so now what we've got, we have got the sinker, the swivel, and the hook. All free floating sinker and swivel. Now we take our tube. And if you ask what tube this is, this is an old, old, probably 10 or maybe even 15 years old. This is an old, yum, I think they called it ferocious series, an alewife. I don't think you can find it anymore, but you might. Pretty neat little tube. But you just take your tube and thread it on like you normally would. I generally go dead center, down to the curve of the hook, angle it out. And this is where things get interesting. You thread that puppy up on there. Now, you take your swivel on slack line and run the other end of the swivel up through that hook. Okay, I don't know if we can see what we've got there. what it ends up looking like. You finish up Texpos in your tube. And that's what you've got. Okay. So what happens is when a fish bites, and I'm going to demonstrate this and hopefully I don't hook myself. When a fish bites that tube, 
it'll slide down the hook as long as the line's taut it can't go anywhere see where it's hooked it's pinned you're going to shred the tube eventually uh, when you set the hook but um, it'll stay on there through cover it will not come down on you and like I said you can use that on any soft plastic you know on this one we probably should have used a smaller swivel and that would have made it look a little bit better but that's the first one I grabbed um, just to show you what it looked like and you know be honest with you using the bigger one gives you a better idea what it looks like so now I'm going to disconnect it in reverse so that you can see all the pieces again we're going to unhook our tube and it's just swinging it's just hanging grab our swivel and that means we have to grab our line you can see the swivel comes down off the high of the hook and it's loose okay loose line helps with this run it down through the hook or run the hook through the swivel I should say and that's it so I hope this helps you out I hope this catches more fish and if you like this tip and you haven't already subscribed, please do so and uh, share with your friends. You know, we're always trying to grow the channel and get more views and more people watching. So thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you the next time.